Van, i uh, got a couple of quick announcements for you. Um, first of all, it seems that we're in like what, week 10 or 11 of this distance learning thing. Um, I just want to take a heartfelt moment to say how much uh, I miss you. I miss, uh, I miss my job. I miss teaching. Um, I think that if there is a silver lining to this, silver, this situation, silveration, um, I think it's helped us all, at least me, learn to appreciate our past day-to-day -day lives. Um, you know, sometimes you might not have wanted to wake up for school. I know I didn't, but now that's what I want the most. And I think that um, making music together as a community is something that we all can really look forward to in the fall, at fall 2020. Now, um, this week, and you've probably seen on Google Classroom already, um, but just in case, there's no new assignments. We're done. We're done with everything. Um, if you want to redo anything or make up any missing work, just get that in by next Tuesday, May 26th. You know I'd be happy to grade it. And if you notice any mistakes in progress book, and I'm not perfect, and that's fine, uh, let me know. Shoot me an email or um, a message and reminder or something, and I'll be happy to fix your grade. But um, be sure to go through it and check it because things have been peculiar for the past couple of weeks, so I, I made, a, made a mistake here or there. Um, a huge reminder of the decision to host band camp at home this year. Um, we're Again, we're doing this to eliminate any fee to participate out of respect for any families that might be struggling financially during the coronavirus uh, pandemic. Um, band is completely free to participate. You do not even need to buy your t-shirts um, this year. You're gonna get it all for free. It's awesome. Um, but, 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 despite band camp happening at home this one year, and it's just this year only, um, know that all of the expectations are going to remain the same. Um, a band camp is still going to be an all day, all week thing. Um, expect 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. to be completely booked. Do not schedule yourself to work any of those days. No, no, no. Don't schedule any vacation. Don't, no, you're, you're doing band that week, um, just like you would if we were all going away to band camp. Cool? Um, and it's important to know that, um, we are still going back to Bluffton in 2021 and beyond. In fact, I've already booked our week of the last week of July for 2021 with Bluffton. So um, it's already booked. So we're going back. This is not a permanent thing. Uh, speaking of next year, please, if you haven't done already, you need to take a moment to quickly join our Google Classroom for next year's edition of the Wood Flashes Marching Bands. Um, this is gonna grant you access to all of our music all of our paperwork, announcements, and a bunch of other information. Um, more than anything, though, it just lets me and you know that uh, we're both uh, committing to participating next year. Um, I trust that uh, as the summer goes on and you've got the Google Classroom on your phone, you'll take some time to peruse the music, perhaps. Maybe even if it's just looking on YouTube for a recording. Um, and if anything, just to perhaps get a little excited to make music together again. Um, with that paperwork that's up there, know that that's not due until the start of Bandcamp. So don't worry about that too much right now. Also, you know that on May 26th, for high school students only now, uh, Willard City Schools is taking the day for you to return your Chromebooks and other school property via car drop-off. Um, I need you. The school property that you have is either those Baccarat books or your sight reading book. I need you to turn those back in to me. Especially if you're a senior. A lot of seniors this year are using school and instruments, which is totally fine, but I just need those instruments back. So if you're a senior, make sure that you turn in your instruments or else you will be, uh, we're going to have to track you down. Um, Plotner and I have been spending some time bagging up your cubbies. It's been, I don't know if you can see. Ah! It sucks. It's boring. Um, but uh, that's what we got to do because you're not allowed in the building. If you don't want us to mess with your cubby and you want to keep it the exact same way for next year, that's cool. Hopefully you don't have anything stinky in there, um, and we will leave your cubby alone. But otherwise, we are, I mean, it's, it's our job. That's what we've been told to do. We're bagging up your stuff, and we'll have it delivered, ready to give to you on the 26th. Oh my gosh, um, I did forget something. I knew I had. Um, so before I was sending out this video, I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't talk about the uh, national anthem. Yeah, um, Mr. Schaff contacted me um, the other day. And all of a sudden, uh, he had a great idea for us to still perform uh, the national anthem at the Willard graduation ceremony. Now, you may or may not know, if you're uh, not a senior, 
that uh, the Willard graduation ceremony has uh, it's changed a lot. What they're doing is it's kind of like a drive-in movie of sorts. Um, everyone's going to be in their cars, and they're going to FM transmit all the announcements to the car radios. Um, in my opinion, I think it's, um, it's a great idea, and um, I'm, I'm just happy that we're able to do um, some sort of in-person graduation for the seniors. It would have been a real shame if it would have had to be some kind of virtual thing. Regardless, um, I need your help. Um, hopefully you got my remind message on Monday about this. Um, what I need you to do is in smart music, you'll see an assignment. It's the national anthem. If you did it, um, if you did the national anthem a couple weeks ago, it's the exact same thing. All I need you to do is to, um, you're gonna put some headphones into your computer. That way the music is piped in through your headphones. And then you're gonna set your phone, phone, um, up to record you um, playing your instruments, and then you'll click play in smart music. You'll play along with the smart music track while your phone's recording a video of you. And when you're done, um, just stop recording um, and shoot it up to me um, in Google Classroom. And then I can use those to combine them into a virtual performance. Uh, I really would love it if all of you were to participate in this, just because um, I think as a group and as a family, we owe it to our senior band members to, um, you know, to give them one last hurrah and one last goodbye as they uh, move on to this next stage of their lives. And seniors, Mr. Schaff specifically requested that we have uh, the seniors front and center in this video. So um, please, if you are able and you have your instrument at home or if you're a percussionist, you can hit something as long as it's not a human. Um, please, please, please. Uh, do your best to record this video. They're due uh, tonight, Thursday night, so I can um, spend all night stitching them together, and then I'll uh, have them Mr. Schaff by Friday. Uh, so, uh, the announcement that you're all waiting for, the 2020 leadership team. Um, it was just wonderful to read all of your submissions, uh, especially not having banned for so long and not seeing you for so long. It was just a really wholesome activity for me to spend a couple afternoons uh, pondering this. But what we've come to is this selection of students, and I'm just going to read them down the line. I apologize that there's not much fanfare to this, but here we go. Uh, flute is going to be Rogelio Lopez, um, the incumbent section leader. Uh, clarinet is Brooklyn Rohrbach, again, the incumbent. Uh, tenor saxophone is Mariana Torres. Uh, alto sax and me mellophone is Kevin Wolf. Uh, trumpets are going to be led by Jacqueline Harris. Trombones are going to be led by Trevor Bolin. Tuba and Barry Sax will be led by Mina Ruiz. Uh, and then finally, the big two, a uh, drum line is going to be led by Owen Casper. And then finally, finally, field commander for 2020 is Danielle Bomar. Um, I feel very confident in all these selections. Um, and frankly, I don't think there was a submission that did not deserve to get the position. However, um, there can only ever be one in these. So you have to make some difficult selections sometimes. So thank you again for anyone that submitted uh, those. And I am truly looking forward to an excellent fall marching band season. If anything, I will hope to see many of you here on the 26th when you return things. Um, and if you have any questions or anything, uh, please know that you can always send me a message on my mind or you can shoot me a quick email. But until then, I'll see you later. Bye. And then uh, the announcement that you're all waiting for, the 2020 leadership team. Um, it was just wonderful to read all of your submissions, uh, especially not having banned for so long and not seeing you for so long. It was just a really wholesome activity for me to spend a couple afternoons uh, pondering this. But what we've come to is this selection of students, and I'm just going to read them down the line. I apologize that there's not much fanfare to this, but here we go. Uh, flute is going to be Rogelio Lopez, um, the incumbent section leader. Uh, clarinet is Brooklyn Rohrbach, again, the incumbent. Uh, tenor saxophone is Mariana Torres. Uh, alto sax and me mellophone is Kevin Wolf. Uh, trumpets are going to be led by Jacqueline Harris. Trombones are going to be led by Trevor Bolin. Tuba and Barry Sax will be led by Mina Ruiz. Uh, and then finally, the big two. Uh, drum line is going to be led by Owen Casper. And then finally, finally, field commander for 2020 is Danielle Bomar. Um, I feel very confident in all these selections. 
Um, and frankly, I don't think there was a submission that did not deserve to get the position. However, um, there can only ever be one in these. So you have to make some difficult selections sometimes. So thank you again for anyone that submitted uh, those. And I am truly looking forward to an excellent fall marching band season. If anything, I will hope to see many of you here on the 26th when you return things. Um, and if you have any questions or anything, uh, please know that you can always send me a message on your mind, or you can shoot me a quick email. But until then, I'll see you later.